So, hi everyone. I'm Giancarlo, user complex rational for those who I have not met yet. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you oh. Yep, I think y'all heard that, but we'll just yeah. move on. So, I wanted to just do a very brief talk about some, about some of the patrolling slash maintenance work I do during a few, during short periods in which I'm not able to do more substantial edits. I just feel like doing something different. Recent, recent changes, patrol, anti-vandalism is one of those things that someone has to do. I am not the most active in that regard, but there are a couple of things I like to do to kind of do a second pass, I would say. Instead of running Huggle or other tools, I like to just go through a curated list. Yes, this is a lot in this list, but these are all tags that are tied to one abuse filter or another. And so these are basically edits that may be problematic, but have not yet been reverted if they are or have just been overlooked. <laughs> yes, fortunately, those tend to get reverted rather quickly. One second. This is what alt accounts are for. Good, yes. Okay. <laughs> so you're saying my sock puppet last night wasn't? Yeah. <laughs> It's charming. And the party. So I got through this already while I was sitting, but it's so. How do I get this out of the way? This here, stray marker has been sitting here for about almost three hours. So. I guess one of the patrol, no patroller has yet caught on to that. So we'll just take care of that right now. Oh. Is the bot that no longer is that you to reverse this stuff no longer runs? Oh, Cluebot most certainly runs, but it doesn't catch 100% of bad edits. Is this the bot that typically you would reverse line, like quote, 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 text, quote, quote, quote? Who am I to say? <laughs> so problem solved. And Again, the reason I say this is I've basically never had an edit conflict doing this. And these are the kinds of edits that if they don't get caught within minutes, then it's less likely they'll be caught in the next hours. And sometimes even just when I went to look up something totally unrelated to anything I'm editing, I saw something that would be vandalism and had been sitting there for months. So when doing something like this, I hope to try and catch some of those things in a second pass. And one other thing I wanted to say is that since I can only have one watch list, I also sometimes go through pages related to a wiki project or to another article, the recent changes linked feature, which no doubt many of you are familiar with. This here is a list of all of all pages related to wiki project elements. So I can just review this list periodically instead of having to add every single page to my watch list and then have a four or five digit page count on it. And sometimes I might even do what I would call topical recent changes patrol. My bit my best claim to that is moderating David Muir's page after the presidential debate. And the, and the way I landed on that was through recent changes linked from the page about the election. So this is not, a, politics is not an area I added in by any means, but on occasion, I think it's useful to have a few extra set of eyes and particularly contentious times. And so I might check out a list like this, pages linked from 2024 US election. Not gonna triage right now, but 
basically, this is to wrap it all up, what I would call second pass or topical patrolling to look in the cracks that others may overlook. Any questions? Red is almost always on point. Yellow, as the name describes, catches most vandalism, but also has the most false positives. Sometimes they can be something even as innocuous as correctly updating sports statistics, which, of course, are easily confused with the frequent unsourced changes to numbers and info boxes. They're on, they may be unsourced and correct or unsourced and incorrect. Yes. Usually, if I only have a couple of minutes, I focus on the highlighted ones. Okay. 